Okay. Aquarians, Aquarians, Aquarians. This is the last week of May. Week begins from the 25th until the 31st. So Aquarian, let's see what is transpiring for you Aquarians. Um, please remember to cross watch, always cross watch. And um, try not to look at what the name of the video is because um, that will um, help you to find out what the what is going to be affecting some of you but sometimes there's other message for people and this is why i never used to name my videos but because of the changes um so check out what is going on okay all right aquarians let's see what's coming up for you in this week Ooh, aquarians there's a lot happening for you guys a lot is happening for you aquarians all right so let's go in and see Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. All right, so we see boredom. Some of you are dealing with some boredom, okay? I see you need to protect yourself. I see the energy of the world is in the reverse. So, of the sun is in the reverse. Um, I see the three of pentacles, and this is, uh, there's no um, connection. I see the seven, um, some of you could be looking for work or some of you, there is no collaboration. You, you know, there is no one collaborating. So be aware of what is happening. Then I see um, Saturday is going to be good. All right. Saturday is really, really going to be good. Sunday, I see the 10 of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So, there is a love that is going to be offered to, to some of you Aquarians, okay? Whatever the energy is, there is a love that is going to be offered to you Aquarians. So, there is a lot that is going on. So, I see some of you are dealing with a, a cancer person. You need to protect yourself from this person. I see truths are going to be coming out, the energy of the sun. Some of you, Wednesday is going to be a good day, okay? I see whatever is transpiring, some of you are dealing with uh, looking for networking or connecting at work, but it's not happening. So not to worry. I see the energy of the magician. Um, Friday, is, Friday is a day where some of you could be receiving money, but it was you are open for more. However, this is transpiring. So I see love is coming to you. Love is coming towards you. So this is going to be... A week of love is being offered to you. So we have the energy of the Four of Cups, okay? And I see you have a strong foundation, whatever is transpiring. There is no need to worry, okay? Um, I see help is going to be coming in and your financial stability is going to be okay. So some of you are bored, okay? Um, but um, let this boredom go. Whatever is transpiring, could be bored at work, bored at... Um, at home um you're working from all home and you're bored so be aware of this i see the seven of ones um you need to protect your financial stability you need to protect your money whatever is going on protect your money from an aries Leo, or sagittarius whoever this person is you need to protect your money from this person okay then i see the knight of pentacles and this is it some of you could be having issues with your financial situation. Some of you who were in a relationship with um, a Taurus Virgo, um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, um, you need to um, to realize that this cycle is not yet over. So it was as if there was some issues with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, and it has to do with a lot of money. The cycle is not yet over. Okay, um, it could be someone that, who you live with um or someone you have some money for the cycle is not yet over then we are seeing a situation with um people in power it could be um, um the communication between you and people in power i see the collaboration is not the good i see justice comes up um for um your boss or someone who has done some injustice and i see a new story is coming in so however that is coming up, I see information is going to be coming out that you weren't aware of, whatever this information is. 
and it has to do with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius some information is coming in that is going to give you a new start six seven of Pentacles I see something about your work or your business is going to be coming out for some of you and I see a judgment call is coming up so however this is transpired but the energy of the week is that I see um, love um, love um, love is being offered um, and this is good love is been offered um, oh okay so that's a message that comes out for there so um, love is been offered um, is a week of um, positive love energy that is going to be coming in which is going to be absolutely absolutely fantastic okay I'm sorry guys and you know I'm thinking to show to find a way to show you um, um, what is here um, so I'm going to change up and see how I can um, show you oh all right so um, two energies fell out okay um I'm definitely going to find a way to show you guys what is happening um I'm gonna figure it out so there is absolutely a whole lot that is transpiring and uh, what we need to understand especially in this week it has it has to do with a whole lot of money um because as we look it has to do and i see justice is coming up and help is going to be coming in and uh, i see some of you are going to be having a new start whoever that was dealing with some issues with your work and um some money then I see there was something with a whole lot of money and I see a judgment call is coming down so whatever is transpiring I see a whole lot of money and this is with here we go ten of Pentacles um, and um, the seven of Pentacles so this is something about your work or your business okay and I see some judgment call is going to be coming up but we are going to be looking at to see whatever is transpiring because it has something to do with your work or your business and there's some judgment call that is going to be coming up so um it's it's like a whole lot of money like some of you lost a whole lot of money now the seven of Pentacles number seven is a significant and it has to do with the effect of your work and your business where some of you are going to be finding out something that has transpired so we have the energy of the lovers I see love is coming at you um, this is really really positive whatever is transpiring and is happening in this week love is really here love is coming for you whatever it is relationships are looking really good happiness and joy return in your relationship or happiness and joy um with people and situation but the, it, it has an effect um good contracts could be coming in that is another one good contracts could be coming in so what i'm seeing here is that there's a situation with a whole lot of money and uh, they're not showing up who this lady is but some of you are affected by an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person and it could be an, an Aries person and your money you need to protect your money from an Aries person whoever this Aries person is you need to protect your money from this Aries person um they're just not trusting whoever this Aries person is so some of you have, have a situation with a scorpion and there is no happy ending there is absolutely no happy ending to the situation with the scorpion there is no communication and there is no happy ending for this is information with the scorpion okay then I see that some of you a friend at work wants to return and apologize and you're just not interested it could be a friend at work or if someone who you have known um, I see they want to return either money or apologize to you about some money and you're not interested however that is coming up and whatever is transpiring is as if some of you realize that this person has gotten you in a lot of problem and you're keeping away from this person so I see um, you need to protect your money whatever is transpiring you need to protect your money okay um, there is something about protecting your money what is it in a bank 
um, is it in a financial institution something you have to be on top of your game because you need to protect your money so go back and see what is transpiring check your bank accounts because they could be stealing from you I see a friend is going to be helping you out whoever this person is um, is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this could be a mother figure whoever this person is I see um, this person is going to be helping you out however this transpiring I see that this person is um is coming in as a friend and as a faithful person and they're going to be helping you out um the energy yeah I see you young married with uh, unmarried people you're not really happy some of you you need to protect yourself from a um, um, Virgo man whoever this Virgo man is you really need to protect yourself from this Virgo man so you unmarried people whatever is happening and transpire you need to protect yourself from a Virgo person because this is coming up some is a Virgo um, some is a Leo and it has something to do with definitely a Virgo or a Leo so be aware of this and protect yourself I see some of you sadness is it if your mom or a friend is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius 50 years and older sadness sadness for this person whatever is transpiring um, I see some sadness um, for this person whoever this person is I see a lot of sadness for this person and this sadness was created by a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person now whatever has happened or transpired I see sadness for this person so I see um, some of you um, if you were thinking of buying a house or unexpectedly you're going to be finding out a lot of money is on your account um, this could be stimulus check or that sort of a thing um, so this is good unexpectedly you're going to be finding this out um, this Aries Leo or Sagittarius could be telling you or the money could be transferred from this lady back to your account and you're going to be finding out about this some of you sadness because you're going to be hearing about the sick maybe is your mom or a family member sadness for this person there could have been some sick or this person is in the hospital this you could be receiving some message that this person is well and um, this person is sick and is not well so there is not some good news coming in whatever is transpiring okay so um be alert that an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um some sadness because you're going to be hearing something about this person I see a tower moment is coming down a tower moment is coming to the end of a contract for some of you the end of a contract is going to be coming in however this is happening and transpiring I see the end of the a contract is coming in for some of you unmarried ladies so, so unmarried ladies be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring fortune is here and I see that some of you someone has stolen from your business and they have realized that some money that was supposed to come to you um, or it, it could be vice versa however this is I see an investigation had taken place and they're realizing um, that um, someone could have used your information or took money that wasn't theirs and I see truth is coming out so, I see some of you are desperate because you hear of a tower moment ending with your contract and some of you could be desperate but um, don't be desperate a new one is coming right in okay some of you a friend is coming back to apologize from work they were the one who threw you under the bus it is okay let it go I see a positive message is going to be coming in and this is what I'm saying whoever gets the message that your contract is ended not to worry don't do not be a despondent because a new contract is coming in and this is going to be good okay so whoever lose their jobs or whatever is transpiring and you receive a message that your contract is ended not to worry so I see some sadness um, sadness for some of you you found out that your girlfriend or a friend or a sister someone had thrown you under the bus and I see that this person is coming back to you in order to balance out a situation and I see you have no interest in knowing what this person have to say I see this person is very sad and um, very sad and in a desperate position um, they have stolen a lot from you 
um, whether it is materialistic mentally or physically they have stolen a lot from you this person has been very very um, deceptive some of you are going to be finding that an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is sick and um, this person could be a mother figure but you're going to be finding out that this person is sick okay I'm going to be looking at this um, because each one of these decks are differently um, um, uh, so I see yes um, so this person um, could be working extra time and this person is working with sick people however this is happening um, and I see fortune is going to be coming in for some of you from your business or from your work I see some pleasure seeking is here at the workplace be aware of this pleasure seeking is when um, you're looking for a relationship with someone at the, on the job you got to be careful what you're doing I see a lot of information communication I see a letter that is coming in for some of you um, this is going to be positive because it is um, information that you're getting to move you forward I see that some of you some falseness false information some um, um, some message is going to be coming in but it's false so this message could be coming in um, about work or someone want to collaborate but it's false be careful um, of this message it, it, it comes in as if yeah someone want to connect with you but it's false so as we look at the weekend the weekend is um, something with your bank um, be aware something with your bank um, and, and um, someone could be coming back um, in your life so um, this person could be a um, Taurus um, coming in and offering you love but it's only because they know you're about to come in with a lot of money however this is transpiring then I see business is going to be good whoever have business this is going to be absolutely absolutely good um, this is um, going to be a really a positive week and I see um, that this is just going to be um, really fabulous whatever is transparent business is looking good I see some falseness so you've got to be aware because there's the energy of um, splendor um, business is going to be good so however this is transparent I see some desperate uh, desperate some people are pleasure seeking be careful there is some falseness around your business you're going to be receiving a message there is some falseness I see fortune is going to be coming up and whatever is transpiring with business and your work and your business is going to be good be aware keep away from false people um the message is that there is going to be some sorrow and the sorrow is someone an older person that is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn whatever it is there could be um, some sorrow for this person um, that you're going to be hearing this person could be sick or so so I see new love is coming in and I see conversation I see people meeting up so it's going to be a very very positive um, week however this is coming up and transpiring so um, that is good news um, so it's going to be an excellent week um, that is going to be coming up so um, that is that is a very very good okay I'm not going to do um, pull a card um, not going to show two cards okay I'm just gonna pull one card for you guys this week and it's holiday the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or a getaway so sometimes um, you're looking for an answer and this is about if because you can't go on holidays now it is about going within the answer is there whatever um, that you want to know go within the answer is there you have purple purple is coming up in this week and this is a very very good so I used to pull a call I used to show you guys a card but sometimes they want to do different things so um young ladies be aware um be aware protect yourself be very much aware young ladies young unmarried ladies um be very much aware i see um 
some of you are going to be receiving some false information from a friend some false message from a friend is good let it be at work i see things is good i see you're going to be finding out that a faithful friend is sick i see materialistic wealth but i see some sadness and some sadness is coming up for a friend or a mother that you're going to be finding out i see young married married women a tower moment is coming down for a Taurus, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. This is a young unmarried person. A Taurus moment is coming in. This person wanted to apologize for what they have done. Um, you, uh, a Taurus moment is coming down for a manager who have done some really deceptiveness. And I see some false news is coming in. So be aware. Then we see the energy of fortune and some information is going to be coming in. I see play, people are kind of pleasure seeking where this could be you're trying to network and hook up with people but i see business could be good for you guys i want to say please remember to cross watch see who all these people are um there is a young taurus virgo or capricorn there is a aries the or sagittarius woman 50 years and i see judgment comes down on some of you bosses i see end of contract so Go and check out. Judgment call is coming in. Go and check out who these people are. I love you guys. Namaste.